we're here with the next leg of our Donkey Kong Country adventure. The greatest game of all time. No. It's uh, my least favorite in the series, but it's still a really good game. You like, like this less than Donkey Kong 64? Uh, yeah, but... You like this less than uh, Donkey Kong Barrel Blast? Uh, no, this is better than that. I mean, this is a really good game. Like, I don't... Oh, yeah, it's it's super cool. Okay, so yeah, two-player team. Uh... Oh, Yeah, just 50. go left. Yeah, now oh. it's balls in your court. That's really cool. <clears throat> but no, just even, like, this type of... Like, for a Super Nintendo for game, what Super was doing Nintendo this? Game, nothing was doing this, because it was, like, the last Super Nintendo game. <laughs> but it's very cool. Hello there, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. Mrs. The Wrinkly Kong. Best Donkey Kong character ever. I found life too hectic at school with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time. If you need to save your game, Dixie, call here anytime. Okay, come and on, I'll record your progress. Wrinkly Kong's gotta have some sort of voice. Uh, I can't really do like an old lady voice. When crossing the when jungle. When crossing the jungle, remember to look okay, left, that's right, not... and then forward monkeys. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I can't, I can you do You want to go to Funkies? But first, uh, let's, let's go visit this bear. No, he's just gonna turn you away, I think. He doesn't... Look at him, though. This was the, the progenitor of Banjo. Okay. Okay, well now, now I, I think he was saying something and now we don't, he said something about collecting items. I forgot about how you do that. Do you remember? You da, 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 da. We'll figure it out. Yo, Dixie, what's a happening, Dixie dude? <laughs> Kitty Kong is along for the ride. Uh, so here's what's cool about this game. We start with this motor motorboat here, and you get different vehicles to be able to like traverse different parts of the world. Right now, we can't get over these rocks. Why can't we? Well, we have to find out, you silly goose. <laughs> But there's also these little secret passages. Like, look at this. This mesmerized me as a child. Do, do. I also couldn't tell um, that there's letters inscribed on this back on my, uh, you know, unimpressive television in the 90s. So I had no idea how to do these. But yeah, there's little buttons. You just press the prompt. <laughs> Lake Orangatanga. I think is something different. <laughs> dum, dum. It's uh. So here's what's what did you say, Orangatanga? Yeah, I think that is actually it. Uh, what's interesting about this one is that we've got two partners, but it's a little different than last time. See, Dixie has quite the tough time carrying the baby. And uh, so we don't have as much flexibility in how we do this. But Kitty also does bang into the ground when he gets there. Well, that's, now if I switch to Matthew, yeah. Matthew can throw me a lot higher. Well, also you from last time. Also, you get you get to actually go up there. But oh, I'm playing Kitty Kong, by the way. I don't know if you oh, mentioned yeah. that. Michael is playing Dixie. That is pertinent information. Oh, but yeah, so we have this thing we need to break. Get the big boy. Got him. Yeah, I mean, this game had a lot of interesting concepts like that. It's definitely the weirdest in the trilogy. Just in terms of, like, tone and color and the way the enemies I look. I think that's the thing Very that throws strange. people off, but there's some people who think it's the best designed one from a platforming game standpoint. I have I read a... Or not read, I watched a... Uh, a video about it on the internet where somebody was like making his case for why this is like the most fun Donkey Kong Country game and it makes a lot of sense because like this game reuses a lot of themes you have to switch to oh <laughs> um, this game actually reuses good ideas and that's something like the first game did a little bit but the second game almost did none of that the, the second game was like once they used an idea they're like alright we're on to new things and and that's why i don't know wacky ideas show them the trick oh oh yeah this is hard to do look at that it, it that 
that comes in handy in like three levels in this entire game. <laughs> There's only like it's one there. time where I think you need to do it, but oh, go down. Of course, just had to get that in first. Oh yeah, I was about to say. That's like an obvious, obvious the secret is all get out. I mean, I still like them. The first one's my favorite. The second one would be my second favorite. This would be my third. But I, uh, there are things I like a lot better about this one than the second game. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Um, because, I don't know, I just think DKC2, it's an all-time amazing game. I just think it's a little overrated, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that you're in, like, the enemy's world. I think to a lot of people, that's just really cool. Because nobody ever does that, and I think a lot of times we... Oh, I'm all about the level design in that one. I just think the level design in that one, there's just a lot of gimmicky levels that people kind of just forget exist. I'd say and, there's like probably five. Yeah, there's not... Yeah, I don't want to say like a ton. I mean, that game is still amazing. It's still like pretty much a perfect game to me. Uh, oh, throw... Um, no, no, no. Go on top of that. The, the No, no, no. The, the, the house thing. You get no 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 oh <laughs> I was gonna say I think you I think I can throw you up there okay oh I, I thought you were talking about the bananas <clears throat> anyway we'll be fine um oh yeah dark uh, two is my favorite DKC um what? but it's very close. It's very close. Yeah, I thought you said the first one was what? Oh, come on. Ah, but Waldorf, I've played Donkey Kong 2 again. You're crazy. And the the rough around the the few levels that are like weird and gimmicky only took me like, you know, two tries this time and it's like uh, Well, yeah, I mean the, with the rewind feature on the Switch, but you're forgetting that like you know, we didn't have like to do that. We did that like 3 times. Well, now I'm just saying, like, now like I'm even, afraid to admit even, how much we actually did. Even the because the, it was, I can tell you from editing it, it was a lot more than well, three. I think sometimes we did it just for convenience, not like that we really needed to. Uh, but, but it's like the levels that I don't. You forget like that, that level think, where you had to play the all animals. Like if we had to actually go back and do that, yeah, but it's been to, there would like, have been a lot. That of, kind of level is missing in the other Donkey Kong games, where like you know just something where you have to like rush through. And something that was like a real gauntlet, a real difficult level. Donkey Kong Country 1 doesn't really have that. Uh, the closest thing you get is that, that level where the platforms disappear, but uh, that was that was fresh. I like that. But I don't know, I just, I, I do... Now... Oh my gosh, what kind of collision detection now is we're that? Talking like the di we're talking about like the difference between 99 and 100, but, uh, but I would give the edge to number two. For my personal preference. But it's also very hard to rate those things, because people would be like, oh yeah, it's so much better, but, you know, they didn't have to come up with all the ideas for that game. You know? Like, and, and that's what people, people... You just... I don't know why you didn't go down where the B was, where I lost. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know. I just think the first game is one of those games like Mario Odyssey to me where like beginning to end there's like no blemish on it where it's like the second game like, I think it has I, higher I love highs the and lower game. lows, but I I I'll no, take I, the highs. But I'm just saying like to me the first game is like like there's nothing about it I don't like whereas like the second game I can think of a handful of things that I don't like. Yeah, we missed a bunch of stuff in this level. I don't know why <laughs> where I lost you just decided to go the other way. Actually, check out Wrinkly Save Cave. Oh, I can't rewind on this controller. Oh, that's what I like about most about this one is that uh, they've got all these little secrets for you to check out. This one feels more like an adventure than any of the other two, any of the other, like, trilogy. Honestly, feels more like an adventure than, uh, 64 does to me. This is Barnacles Island. 
Oh, there. How's it going, kitty? Yeah, I mean, I don't remember how to get, like, certain items, but... There's one of these guys in every level. This is how you collect DK coins this time around. You have to... It's a bit of a puzzle where you have to hit them in the back. But these I always thought it was fun. Until you can't figure one out, then, then it's sad. This was in the, the days before. You can just look up a YouTube video on how to do it. Oh, I didn't realize I was gonna... I didn't actually want to play this level. sure you can hit that guy, but yeah, I don't can. know if he, in this challenge it lets you. This is when he's open. Yeah, but I think in this challenge, it's like I, I mean, remember it being... <laughs> This is that was happening in the second game too. I don't know why that doesn't work. I don't know. I may just like move your stick around so the controller stays awake. The controller was on though. I saw the power. It just. I'm starting to think it's just like a port of this game thing. What's the goal here? I wasn't looking. Bash the bad. Well. Yar. Well done, Mr. Squidward. Oh! There's like something. I remember there's like some hidden coin in between those guys or something. Oh, uh, throw me. Oh! Hey. Okay, well, that's a... We already have 17 lives. Well, yeah, I think this is probably another one of them that races them every time you turn off the game. Skidda's Row. Yeah, this is a level I wanted to do. I love the snow music in this game. Oh, it's so good. Look at these weird crocodiles. Do not like the baddies in this game. They're very weird and intimidating. Yeah, I think they're fine. It's funny because um, that's another thing I was going to say I don't love about 2 compared to the first game. Some of the redesigns for like... Um, it sounds really... This is a, a total nitpicky thing, but like... Like, you know how Zinger looks in the second game versus the first game? I don't like it. <laughs> what about this There's one like, where he's got a dumb buzz yeah, on oh, he looks, Oh, he face. looks awful in this. I'm saying that reminds me of another thing I don't love about 2, that uh, even the way some of the, um, uh, what was it? It's like the live, life balloons or like there's certain things they made look like a little different. <laughs> but what just happened that barrel. It lagged. That's so funny. Nice. I don't like kitties. Like, there's like I don't know what it feels like. It feels like he has like a bigger hurt box than I'm expecting him to have. Well, this this one will be a little better than the the other two because we'll, we'll probably lose more often and not just like have to take turns with, with levels and we can 
each, each get to play a little bit of each Why would that be level? better? I don't want to lose. <laughs> I'm not saying we'll lose. I'm saying we will we will lose uh, and have to switch more often, but I don't think we're going to lose the level, Matthew. I haven't even we're gotten one flag yet. <clears throat> Yeah, the yellow means you got everything in the level. That's why the second level doesn't have yellow. The flag is sad. Go back, Matthew. We can do it. No. There's no going it's back. It's a short level. I just got all of those bananas. Yep. See, and this is like the thing I think like Country 2 had these levels too, where like you turn into the animal, like, don't like them. Like that rattly level? No, oh, I think it's fine. The only thing is that rattly... Rattly's like... Like, um... He's but, exactly... But, you, but hold on. As much as you complain about water levels, and then you'll be like, that's fine? Come on, man. That's the same kind of argument. Like, would you rather have another great platforming level? Or would you rather have a level where you play this animal buddy that doesn't really control all that well? <laughs> well, I think I don't that, know. I think it's stuff where, like, the levels where you have to play with squawks and fly on the, like... Yeah, but if, I, if I'm going to complain about that, then I, I need to complain about the frog in the first game. Because they're both... They both don't work well. But they it's don't... The they don't they ever move. force you to play the frog. That's... that. I'm saying it's like a water level argument. Yeah, well, the water level... You, you're not, like, practicing swimming in any part of the game. And so they're, they're, like, testing you on something that you haven't done. I wish Trevor was here, because he'd back me up on this. Rattly, <laughs> the the snake, I mean, at least it's it's cut from the same cloth of running and jumping as you would in a platformer. But I'm saying, what would you rather have, a rattly level or another platforming level? And that's what I'm saying is, I just that's kind of your that argument level. with the water level stuff. And so I'm like... Yeah, but water levels aren't fun. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think fun. the animal buddy levels are fun? Yes, because like, the animal buddies are fun. Well, so then why don't you like the water levels in the first Donkey Kong Country game? They're all basically unguard levels when you think about it. When you have unguard, they're fun. But you that, almost, I mean, that's but why he's I, in every one. I'm, I, I've never said that Donkey Kong Country's water levels are are bad, specifically but bad. You, but but that's I'm saying like I'm saying conceptually water levels are bad. Right, but that's what. I'm saying of course like, there's of course there's there's good ones like yeah I mean nothing's absolute there's there's entire games that exist underwater and but you know it's like uh I just uh I don't I don't find much of a problem with with the rattly level oh yeah you can't I mean likewise like you know unguards fun underwater and I'd say tropical freeze does about as good a job as you could do that and <laughs> uh <laughs> you got a style on them uh, Rayman does a good job as well, but but I mean it's like. But I'm know. saying like that to me is like the same kind of thing as this. We're like this is fun. Like playing the elephant, this is better than playing Rattly. I think I like the puzzle would, solving. I element. would also say it's better than swimming. But I'm saying, but my we'll point get is to the water levels in this game. But I, my point is is that I think the second game has a lot of those kinds of things in them. I always hated that jump. I think it has less than oh, you. you. It has le it had less than I remembered, because I thought we were gonna get stuck in a lot of parts in that game, and it just was it was not not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Well, and <laughs> this is what I'm uh, saying. I almost I'll, I'll have to tell you off air. <laughs> you can't. You're not gonna be able to do that. You can jump on him. This is like a swaggy music track. Yeah, I like this uh this whole like, you know, You know this isn't David too. Wise, right? Um I'm pretty sure I knew that. Wait, keep going left, there might be a hidden barrel. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you need the uh Oh, there you go. Oh, Michael. Okay, you're good. I think you're good now. You just walk in. Yeah. I was like, why is the bee there? I guess to make sure that you use the suction. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a fraud. <laughs> Can I reach Oh, no. Okay. Oh, goodness. I thought you were about to walk straight down there, and I'm like, the zinger is definitely back. Okay. What's my pattern? Would choose the hard way to do it. Wasn't bad. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, it wasn't. That's why I said I'm a fraud when I lost. See, and like this level is fun, but it's like, would I rather have this or another normal? Like, of course, I'm going to take the... You know what I mean? I mean, it's fine to have like a few pace Oh, you breakers. can jump on that yeah, one. Yeah, Just wait for him to... Yeah. Yeah! Uh... Is there a barrel back here? I think you just had to go past the red zinger, but... Hogwash. When are you gonna finish level, Matthew? That beautiful baby blue on there. Oh, Swanky it's one of these. Show. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, too. Swanky Kong has been disrespected. Oh, whoops. I forgot, you're supposed to beat all of these to do something, I think. Go so you play Cranky Kong. Cranky Kong in this game where you have to throw... Look at that little unguard toy. And squawks on the bottom left. Squitter's up there, too. Oh. Why is Cranky Kong so good? It's the first one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> He's dude. destroying you. Look at your face. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, what, what could I have done better on that? I literally missed one until the very end. You'd be faster. Dude, that's a joke. <laughs> no, it's one of the best parts of this game. I don't know if I... Did I just try it again? Yeah. No, I mean, it's a cool thing, but I like... I have to beat him. But I remember this being easier. Oh, now he's missing all of a sudden. Yeah, see, I don't... Maybe they just did that to... He's just destroying you, that game. He's, I mean, he had his... Get his morning breakfast. It's vitamins. Belch's barn? Is that what it said? Yep. Bosses are very weird in this game. Oh yeah, don't do that. I do not like Kitty's collision detection at all. Definitely jumped there. <laughs> He's just transfixed on. <laughs> He's stuck too. <laughs> just like his, his uh, teeth move individually. <laughs> what the? Oh. Look at him. He looks just. He's like, huh? Oh, he's almost there. One more will do it. Donkey! Gosh. You have to beat him before my battery runs out. Give me a break. Really, game? Oh man, this one... I'm sure so many people quit the game here because they just couldn't do this consistently. <laughs> So that's it for Lake Orangutanga. Looks like we're moving on to the Kremwood Forest. What about that cabin? cabin? I don't. I can't go there yet. I have to. We have to beat the world first. But Ooh. this is what we got coming up. This is pretty. Uh, it's like a wood. What, what would you call it? A forest world? Yeah. Uh, there's only really been one of those in the first just, Donkey Kong man, country. Man, I love the sprite art. Look at look at that stream. Yeah, it's just so good. This game was ahead of its time, man. Doesn't get enough credit, but uh, I guess that's where we're gonna wrap things up on this first one. So. Join us next time. Leave a like and subscribe.